Hello, everyone, and welcome to Favor Rugby on Favor Sports. My name is Wes, and we just witnessed a very strong Scottish side absolutely decimate and destroy a Romanian side who has had a tough couple of weeks of rugby, obviously suffering a big loss to Ireland and then a big loss to South Africa and then an even bigger loss to Scotland. Now, we're not going to go through every try because this would then be a very longer video, but we're going to look at some notable mentions. Uh, definitely one of those was the first man to go over, which was Hamish Watson, finding his way over the line um, through some good play. But he came out um, of the uh, of the starting lineup like a bat out of hell, running strong, always going over the advantage line. And uh, he was able to get over in the eighth minute, which was indeed converted by Ben Hebe. Um, Ali Price was able to score next in the 16th minute. Darcy Graham got one of his first in the 20th minute then. And all of those were converted by Ben Hebe. So, Again, the Romanian side just unable to get any sort of purchase in the game, no real possession, but Scotland looking really clinical, a few mistakes here and there, but overall looking really good. Now, things went from bad to worse uh, with Romania as they then got two yellow cards in quick successions, uh, succession rather. So a, uh, a quick hit to the head, a high tackle rather, saw Imescu get a yellow card in the 28th minute, and then Rosu, Florian Rosu, the flanker, got a yellow card for deliberately collapsing them all. So down to 13 men. Darcy Graham went over for his second. And as I said, bad to worse, even worse, as Robert, uh, sorry, Marius Simonescu then in the 37th minute got his yellow card. So the Romanians down to 12 men at one point in that first half. The Scots weren't going to let them off easy, though, as they then decided to capitalize on that three-man advantage. And Fagerson went over in the 37th minute and Darcy Graham finding his hat-trick in the 39th minute. Now, all those kicks were successfully converted by Ben Hebe, so he was having an absolutely fantastic day with the boot. The second half would go on to see much of the same. Um, Harris, Smith, Healy himself, um, as well as Matthews, Darge, Graham getting the final say. It was a true tri-fest for the Scottish team. Really laying down the statement. Uh, saying that they are still here in contention and ready to play, putting massive pressure on the Springboks to do well against Tonga and maybe showing Ireland and saying, hey, look, you are not guaranteed a qualified spot just yet. It is going to be an absolute cracker between Scotland and Ireland. Um, Romania, yeah, we'll, we'll look at that performance and be quite disappointed, just really not being able to get any sort of meaningful possession with their hands on the ball. But guys, make sure that you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let us know what you thought of the performance and what you are most looking forward to seeing Scotland do next. Until next time, I'm Wes. See you then.